as a British girl who comes from the kind of family, family definitely would be part of EDL, are the kind of people that go out and just cause fights in the streets, are racist, they say negative things towards people of colour. I've heard all this kind of stuff growing up. So someone who comes from that kind of upbringing here in the UK, I really want to give my perspective on this. <laughs> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh everyone, I'm Aisha Rosalie, I'm a British girl who converted to Islam. I'm here to talk about the madness that has swept across the UK, which are the EDL riots from Tommy Robinson's gang or whatever they want to call themselves, funded by Zionists. It's been crazy in UK right now and as a British girl who comes from the kind of family that would be a part of EDL. I don't know if they are because I'm not in touch with my dad's family anymore. But that side of my family definitely would would be part of EDL, are the kind of people that go out and just cause fights in the streets, are racist, they say negative things towards people of colour. I've heard all this kind of stuff growing up. So someone who comes from that kind of upbringing here in the UK, I really want to give my perspective on this and show you some crazy things that have been going on. Firstly, the first thing I want to say about this video is I in no way intend to bring any hate. I want you guys to know that we cannot defeat this evil with the same kind of evil, but with a different face. When I say that, I mean like we can't do what they're doing, but put a different face on it. I don't want you guys to be fearful of these people. I don't want you to be walking around the street and if you see a white person or a working class white person to think that maybe they are thinking bad of you or that maybe they're part of EDL or I don't want any of that to come up to happen to anybody and even if you meet these people, these people who are part of English Defence League, the EDL, I don't want there to be any violence to occur. I don't, I'm not looking to stir up tension in the country I just want I'm always looking to bring peace to everybody and that's when I spread the message of Islam it's because I want to bring peace to people's life because Islam brought so much peace to my life and that really is our message so I'm not looking to cause any violence or hatred or fear I don't want you to fear these people the first video I show you actually will make you realize that these people are actually nothing to be feared let me show you this video first so I'm going to carry on <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> so this is why you shouldn't fear the EDR. <laughs> All jokes aside, these people are people that are just looking for a fight. They will target anything that they deem remotely different to them. They would they're the kind of people that go into football matches just to cause fights. They're the kind of people that go out on a Friday night and get into fights every Friday night. Trust me, I come from this family. I know these people. And these people are not harmless. They are dangerous. But I don't want you to fear them because when you fear them, it can make all unnecessary things happen. It can bring negativity and violence. When people ask me, like my non-Muslim friends have been messaging me, people who know that I've converted to Islam and they've been saying to me, are you scared? Like all these EDL riots, are you not worried? And honestly, I'm not. I'm not worried because one, I don't fear them, I only fear Allah. And two, everything that's going to happen to me is written for me, I can't change it. And it's all from Allah than who loves me the most. So just knowing that my life plan is set out from someone who loves me, which is Allah, that's one of the reasons why I don't worry. But also the fact that since I converted to Islam, I've noticed that uh, living in a very Muslim area, there's a lot of Muslims here, Muslim men are very protective and I've had a very positive experience with Muslim men, especially strangers when I'm walking in the street. I have Muslim men like help me with my pram or they sometimes, Khatija has a little car and they help like lift the car up on the pavement and I've had Muslim men help me in all kinds of ways. They Sometimes they give free stuff, just constant kindness and protectiveness and I think I think men have that kind of protectiveness in them anyway, like it's an innate desire. But I think Western men are too scared to show it because they're worried that women will turn around and say like, why are you helping me? I can do it myself. I'm a strong woman, all this kind of stuff. So, but Muslim men are a bit more forward in their help. And I know that if I was in the street in a very high Muslim area and something happened with an EDL member, I know I would get lots of support from Muslim brothers, especially, and Muslim sisters as well, of course. So that's another reason why I'm not very scared. I've personally been attacked by EDL a lot, not like in person, but when I first started this channel, um, I was very new. I had hardly any subscribers. 
the EDL found my channel very quickly and I would constantly, my videos when I first started, I would get so much negative like thumbs down. They would like thumb down all my videos and they would comment saying like, you're a traitor, you betrayed your forefathers, like get out of this country and all this kind of stuff. I used to get all these comments all the time. Uh, I probably still get them now, but I just don't notice because most of my comments are just positivity. Like, alhamdulillah, if you look at the comments underneath my videos, you'll see there's so much positivity from Muslims. Like, my subscribers, alhamdulillah, you guys are just so amazing and positive and bright, amazing souls. And I get that a lot in my videos. They're probably, they're probably there somewhere, but we just don't notice them anymore because the positivity has completely, has completely drowned out the negative voices. So, alhamdulillah. I get a lot of like Islamophobic channels, you know, to make videos about me as well, saying like British girl converted to Islam and all this kind of stuff. But alhamdulillah, it's never deterred me. And I don't think it should deter you guys either because these people are not exactly our role models. But they're also not, I don't want to say they're bad people because I don't believe anyone's innately bad and innately good. I think people are on a spectrum. And I think someone who is bad, who does bad actions today could potentially do good actions tomorrow. So one of my good friends her dad who is, was a member of EDL converted to Islam. So let's have a look at the riots, what they've been doing. Rotherham this afternoon, a mob is attacking police officers with furniture from a hotel they have smashed their way into, all the while chanting Yorkshire. Yorkshire, 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 Yorkshire. <laughs> So you can see they've been burning down libraries. They've been attacking hotels with refugees in them. They have been attacking police. They have been stabbing Muslims. They have been attacking mosques. You'll also see this video as well of a racist who is chasing a Muslim couple. So you can see there's an insane amount of violence going on right now. And the crazy thing about all the violence towards the mosque in Southport. So if you guys don't know the backstory, really quickly, the backstory is there was a stabbing in Southport, which was horrific from a teenage boy, a 17 year old who killed kids, like little kids. So sickening. He wasn't Muslim, but there was a rumor that was spread that he was Muslim because this guy is under 18. His name was never released. So... This misinformation got spread really quickly that it was a Muslim like terror attack on kids. And that was it. The EDL had got to be in their bonnet and they wanted to go out and destroy the mosque. And they did. They destroyed a mosque in Southport, which was then built back up by the people of Southport who were both Muslim and non-Muslim, mashallah. And they are using this horrific thing that happened to children to spread more horrific things across the country. These people, by the way, do not represent British people at all. Like majority of British people are very accepting and open in my experience. And the international community are, are, are scared of us right now, which rightly so. I mean, like I saw Malaysia that was suspending flights to the UK because of what's going on, which is completely fair enough. And we look ridiculous right now in the public image. And currently today, when I'm making this video on the 7th of August, there are riots across the country today as well, which there could be more news coming out about that as well. But there's been ridiculous things where they've like thrown bricks in people's windows, where there's been newborn babies. They've been attacking refugees. They've been attacking Muslims. It's been really horrific. And Muslim women especially are being warned to stay indoors as much as possible because we face things like acid attacks. They acid attack us, which the acid attack hijabis. One would think to themselves, what would drive somebody to do this? And I think the answer to that is pretty simple. I think everything that's going on in Gaza, the whole Zion propaganda that's been going around about how Hamas are terrorists and how Hamas are a threat and terrorists are a threat and Muslims are a threat and we need to kill them. We need to exterminate these animals before they take over the world and before they kill you and all this kind of stuff. This propaganda is what's being spread constantly. And also Tommy Robinson, who is a lot of sources are proving that he's actually being paid by Zionists as well and is an avid supporter of Israel convincing people that Muslims are horrific terrorist animals. And when a country is killing 
children by the tens of thousands, Muslim children by the tens of thousands, and the world is seemingly okay with it, why wouldn't people start thinking, oh, it's okay to hurt Muslims? Why wouldn't they? When there are Muslim children being killed by the tens of thousands, innocent children that have nothing in them distinguishable to you and I apart from the fact that they're Muslim. That's the only reason. I mean, they're Palestinian Muslim and they're being mercilessly slaughtered. Why wouldn't people start thinking that it's okay to kill Muslims when it has been okay for the last seven months to kill them by the tens of thousands? And obviously, if you look at the history of Israel, it's been happening for a very long time. But I'm just talking about since October the 7th when things have really been in the news and things have really been at a mass scale. And that's why the UK needs to stand up against it. That's why we need to stand up against it. Why we need to say this is not okay. This the starvation of the children is not okay. Killing the children is not okay. Killing the Palestinian men and women is not okay. Killing any Palestinian, killing any Muslim just for the fact they're Muslim is not okay. Starving them because they're Muslim Palestinians is not okay. Obviously it happens to Christian Palestinians as well, but majority of Palestinians are Muslims. And in the eyes of the ignorant, we're all sort of, put into one basket i would much rather be put into that basket palestinians than to be put in the basket of anything else because palestinians are the bravest most courageous people ever and there are muslims there are ummah they are us we are all one all i know is that things are getting crazy and we just need to stay strong as an ummah and we need to be very tactful about what we do next we need to make sure that every single action we do is firstly in accordance to what Allah has ordained for us and not what Allah has prohibited for us. And we also need to make sure that it's in the best interest of the Ummah. I just pray things get better because things just seem to be getting crazy right now. But Alhamdulillah, thank you guys for watching. Assalamu alaikum.